Good afternoon. My name is Pauline, and uh, I am in my fourth year of radiology. So, today I'm going to present to you a clinical case. So, as you can see, it concerns a young girl of six years old. She has had a painful tumefaction of the right sac for one week. An X-ray was performed. The radiography does not detect any abnormality in the soft parts or bone. So, a CT was performed too. Here, you can clearly see the lesion. Intramuscular tumor developed within the vast intermediate, heterogeneous and enhanced after injection. What action is to be taken? A. MRI B. Biopsy C. Emergency surgery D. Observation uh, B. Um, everybody? D. No, I say. <laughs> The answer is MRI. So you have sagittal T1, T1 with gadolinium, stir frontal view. T2 actual and T1 after gadolinium. The MRI shows inflammatory infiltration of the wall of the entire chamber of the sac in hypersignal steer. Oval formation in the vast intermediate, heterogeneous, multilocated, 20 by 30 by 76 millimeters, showing strong contrasts, no bone marrow or cortical signal abnormality. What is your diagnosis? Osteosarcoma, abscess, myositis ossificans circumscripta. Yes, C. <laughs> So no action was required. Why do you need the MRI? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need the MRI? Because she's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> so surveillance was then carried out during the progressive disappearance of the pain. Orthopedic consultation after one month forms the persistence of a voluminous tumefaction, limiting the flexion of the knee. So the process starts again. Uh, X-ray show confirmation of a myositis ossificum circumscripta with evidence of an ossification in the center of mass. Another MRI was performed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just for case. <laughs> so, um, the MRI shows increase in size of the mass within the vast intermediate, well limited, multilocated, showing strong contrast. Appearance of little abnormalities in EPOT2 in favor of calcified partitions. Persistence of an inflammatory infiltration of the wall of the anterior chamber of the sac in a personal stir. And still no bone marrow signal abnormality. However, there is periostal apposition. So in conclusion, progression of the dimension of the partially calcified lesion compatible with the myositis ossificans circumscripta. As no intervention was required, there was simply an X-ray surveillance. The images showing a progressive reduction of the lesion. Five months later, one year later, and three years later. So, myositis ossificans circumscription is typically a single lesion, intramuscular, sometimes painful. The most common location are the limbs. The lesion is circumscribed, museo of three to six centimeter. An essential characteristic is the rapid evolution, the lesion reaching its maximum size in several weeks. The evolutionary duration is divided into three phases, early, intermediate, and late. Clinical and radiological may mimic a sarcomatous neoplasic process. The biopsy must not be carried out in the face of the risk of confusing a myositis ossificans with a malignant lesion. The most favorable progression 
is in our favor of a myositis ossificans. Take home messages, it's been a soft tissue lesion with non theoplastic heterotopic bone formation occurring in young people after localized trauma in 50% of cases on the leaves and no biopsy necessary. <laughs>